we were discussing this story the little round red house do you remember the boy in the story who always complained to his mother he was bored yes you do remember shall we continue this story but before that i would like to ask you a few questions from the last class are you ready to answer my questions here is my first question what did the little boy always complain about what did the little boy always complain about exactly the little boy always complained about his boat about his boat here comes the second question what activities did the mother suggest to engage the little boy the boy complained to his mother that he was bored then what are the activities suggested by the mother right the mother asked the boy to engage himself by drawing pictures with his new crayons reading new library books or playing with his toys here comes the third question what did the boy's grandmother ask his mother to avoid boredom when she was a child what was that absolutely When the boy's mother was a child his grandmother asked his mother to search for the strangest little house to overcome boredom The boy's mother told about that house and he is now ready to search for the strangest little house Do you know what kind of house is that? Let's read the rest of the story and find it out. What kind of little house? The little boy asked. It's a little round red house with a no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. She said The little boy stared at her. I never saw a house like that before. Where is it? His mother said, "I can't tell you, but if you keep your ears open and your eyes open and you look hard, you should find it not too far from here. You won't even need to cross the street. I'll do it," he said. He bundled up in his raincoat and his hat, his scarf and his mittens and his boots too, and set out to find the little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. He walked down his long block all the way to the corner. He saw white houses and blue houses and yellow houses and green houses. Then he saw a red house there it is he cried out but wait the house was square not round it had a chimney all right but also loads and loads of windows it had a door too he couldn't tell if there was a star the windows had curtains on the inside that cannot be it he said and continued his march round the corner up the long block and to the next corner there were yellow houses and brown houses and many colored houses but not one of them was a little round red house with a no windows no doors a chimney on top and a star in the middle as he was standing on the sidewalk feeling puzzled the little white mail truck pulled up the mail carrier poked his head out of the window and said little boy are you lost oh no the little boy replied i live at ivy rock lane bridgewater new jersey that's right around the corner the mail carrier said no you are not lost the little boy asked 
Do you know where everyone lives around here? I am looking for a special house. The mail carrier said proudly, Of course I do, little boy. That's my job. What house do you want to find? The little boy said, My mother sent me to find a little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. The little boy the mail carrier said, I've been to every house in town, but I have never seen a house like that before. Are you sure your mother is not pulling your leg? Oh no, the little boy answered. My mother wouldn't tease me. She said she found the same house when she was just my age. So I know it's real. The mail carrier shook his head sorrowfully and said, Sorry, I can't help you, my friend. I've got to be getting on my way. It's time to deliver the mail. Waving goodbye, he drove off down the roads. Have you finished your reading? The house is described by the boy's mother. Did you see that? How does she describe the strangest little house? Yes, the house is described as a little round red house with no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. When the mother finished the describing house, the little boy stared at her and he said that 
He had never seen a house like that before. Have you ever seen that uh, house? Have you ever seen such a house with uh, no doors, no windows, a chimney on top and a star in the middle? Have you ever seen? And then the boy asked uh, where it was. What did the boy's mother tell to him when he asked uh, where that house was? Yes, his mother said that she couldn't tell him. But if he kept his ears and eyes open and he looked hard, he should find that house not too far from the. And she added that he wouldn't even need to cross the street. The boy decided to find the house and he put on his dress. Here comes a question. How was the boy dressed? How was the boy dressed? Yes. The boy put on his raincoat, hat, scarf, mittens and his boots. As the mother said to him. Then the boy set out to find the little round red house with no windows and no doors. A chimney on top and a star in the middle. He walked down his long block all the way to the corner. He saw white houses, blue houses, yellow houses and uh, green houses. Finally, he saw a red house. Finally, he saw a red house. Is that the same house described by his mother? Here comes a question. What were the features of the first red house that the boy found? What were the features? Exactly. It was a square house. It had a chimney and loads and loads of windows. It had a door too. These are the features of the red house that he saw first. That means it didn't match with the house that described by the boy's mother. The boy continued his searching and he could see yellow houses, brown houses and many colored houses. But not one of them was a little round red house with a no windows and no doors, a chimney on top and a star in the middle. Then he stood on the sidewalk feeling puzzled, feeling confused. Here is another question for you. Who arrived there while he was standing on the sidewalk to help the boy? Who arrived there? Yes. A mail carrier arrived there to help the boy. A mail carrier arrived with his vehicle. When the mail carrier saw the boy, he friendly asked if he was lost. You might have seen their conversation in your textbook. The boy explained to him everything about the little round red house that he was searching for. After hearing about the house that the boy looking for, the mail carrier said that he had been to every house in town. But he had never seen a house like that before. And he asked if he was sure his mother was not pulling his leg. Means lied to him. How did the boy react when the mail carrier asked it? Yes, he said that his mother wouldn't tease him. He was very sure about that. And because she had said to him that she had found the house when she was in the age of the boy. And the boy believed the mother. The mail carrier had no idea about the house and he drove off. What will the boy do now? 
will he go back to his house and say he couldn't find out the house or uh, will he lie to his mother he could see that house let's see in the next video goodbye